It's time for a Bible story. Our story begins with Jesus. Awesome. That's the best way to start any story. What's he up to this time? Well, just like usual when he was here on Earth, our story begins with Jesus traveling across the countryside. Ah, just out for a nice leisurely stroll, huh? A little fresh air? Mmm, sounds nice. Well, not exactly. He was traveling for a reason. Jesus and his disciples would go from town to town teaching people about God, healing the sick, and performing amazing miracles. Gotcha. So where are they going? What are they up to? What's on the to-do list? Well, this particular story isn't so much about what Jesus did, but about what some other people did when they met him. Hmm, I'm listening. Continue. When Jesus and his disciples passed through a certain village, they were welcomed into someone's house to rest and eat some food. Oh, I didn't know they had Airbnb back then. What? Yeah, you know, like when people let other people stay in their house and whatnot. Oh, do they also have like Uber to get around town? No, for the millionth time. This was a long time ago. Bible times, man. They didn't have Airbnb or Uber or anything like that. Okay, okay. What about cell phones? Not a chance. Figured, just making sure. Okay, so Jesus and the disciples roll up in this house, pop a squat, grab some grub, pretty cool. What happened next? Here's where it gets interesting. There were two sisters that lived in the same house named Mary and Martha. Oh, Mary and Martha. Those are great names. Parents kind of went for the whole same first letter thing, huh? They totally could have been like Peggy and Patty. Huh? Or Susie and Sally. Oh. Or Bingo and Bongo. Would you? Their, their names were just Mary and Martha, all right? Just regular names. Got it. So what's their deal? When Jesus was in their house, the two sisters reacted to him in totally different ways. Mary sat in front of Jesus and listened to everything he said. She knew that Jesus was someone special and went out of her way to stop everything she was doing and focus on him. Cool. Smart move, Mary. Any chance you can take listening to Jesus, you take it. Exactly. But her sister Martha did pretty much the opposite. She hurried around the house cleaning, preparing food, and tending to all of her guests. Okay. Sounds like Martha is kind of a busybody. Yep. She was so focused on the work that had to be done that she wasn't really paying much attention to what Jesus was saying. Yeah, okay, I get all of that, but it's not like she's doing anything wrong, right? I mean, there are guests in the house and she's being super nice by like cooking and taking care of them. So what's so bad about that? That's true. What Martha was doing wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but it just wasn't the best thing. Hmm, hold up, does not compute. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Martha was being helpful and courteous and under any other circumstances, that probably would have been just fine. But it wasn't just anybody in the house that day. It was Jesus, the son of God. Hmm, that's a good point. All that busy work probably isn't the most important thing going on. Exactly. Eventually, Martha got super frustrated that she was the one doing all the work while Mary sat and listened to Jesus. So she came up to Jesus and said, doesn't it bother you that I'm doing all this work? Tell Mary to come help me. Yikes, talking back to Jesus? Ooh, I bet Jesus totally put her on blast, huh? He like shut that attitude down, boom, boom, pow. No way, Jesus was super kind and helped her see the truth. He told her not to worry about all the little things that really don't matter all that much and to focus on what did matter. That's what Mary knew and with Jesus' help, Martha learned that very important lesson too. Man, that's pretty cool. I like how Jesus can like help people learn something but still be totally caring about it. He's like the best teacher ever. For sure. Hey, since he's such a good teacher, you think he'd ever be like a substitute for my math class? Uh, I don't know about that. That would be awesome. He could just do like a math miracle, you know? He'd be like, my son, you have learned geometry. Peace be with you. Lunchtime. Yeah, I think he'd probably just stick to teaching people about God. True, true. But maybe he could be my tutor? I'm just going to wrap this up. The end. <laughs>